I know what you're thinking, but we're not watching Elmo. What we have here is an Elmo projector. Um, it may not look like a projector right now, but under this cover, there is, pro there is a projector. For the past few months, I've been looking for a projector uh, to, to do a fun project with. And no, I know what you're thinking. It's probably get some blank sheets and draw happy faces or whatnot. No. Um, this involves using uh, beat up, no longer being used laptop computer. And in order to do this project, I was in the market for an old school projector. They're still very useful and um, they are being used still, um, not not very much anymore, but to me, they still serve a, a great purpose. Let's take this cover off and uh, take a look at it. So, anyway, I bought this projector at a yard sale just today for five whopping dollars. <laughs> wow. Now, to buy a projector nowadays, it would cost you up to 150, probably a little bit more. Okay. Now, the cover's really, really worn out. Um, it's seen better days. But it still works, although it has a very big tear in it. I might be able to use duct tape with that, and uh, life will be great again. I don't know if this works. I um, haven't been able to try it out all day, but I assume that it works. And by the looks of it, that is the owner's manual. Well, not really the owner's manual, it's a pretty much a description of different parts. It is a Elmo HP-285P overhead projector. Awesome. Oh, it even says it there, upside down. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Property of the Brant County Health Unit. Hmm, cool. Anyway. Yeah, it does. It looks like it needs to be cleaned. It's pretty dirty. I do have some Lysol cloths here. Let's see how much dirt we get off it. It actually smells like um, nicotine, so. Yep. That's nicotine, all right. Anyway, I'm just going to wipe the glass off anyway because, you know, when I, when I buy something, I just like to wipe it down. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so let's open it up and uh, see what's inside. I have this crappy IKEA desk. Um, and when I mean crappy, it's actually made out of particle board. If you, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's an area where it's kind of rippling up a bit, mainly in that area. Yep. That's what happens when you um, put a coffee maker on top, and uh, yeah. Okay, so it says lift orange latch. Okay. Oh! Cool. Look at that. Ah, still has the bulb in there. 
And it doesn't look all that bad in here. It actually looks pretty clean. Um, raise lower column. Okay. Now I'm going to have to... Um, open this up like that. <sighs> cool. Okay, so I forgot to um, plug it into the power bar, uh, extension cord. So, anyway. From where we left off. Okay, so open latch. Okay, that. Okay, so there's a, a button on the side of this. It looks like someone had um, left this thing down in the down position and uh, looks like the plastic had melted. <clears throat> oh well. Okay. All right, now I have to close this. You know, if that latch ever broke off, <laughs> you better hang on tight. That fan blade is made out of metal. Cool. Instead of plastic, it lets you know how well things are built. Kick ass. Alright, so now we have to just plug it in and find out if it even works. But let's take a look at the owner's manual first. Name of major parts, okay. It says on the owner's manual that the plug is removable. It's not on this model. I guess there's two models that are identical. This one it shows that the... Oh, no way. I didn't think it would do that. Or does it? No, oh. I just looked in this one and it shows that the that the plug retracts into the side. Unfortunately, this one doesn't do that. Guess you had to spend a little little more money for this one. Oh well. Oh, cool. You have the customer's copy. Um, okay, so it actually tells you where and when it was purchased. Two year warranty. November 13th of 91. Hmm. Cool. Wouldn't it be awesome if I actually had the receipt so it could actually tell me how much this thing had costed brand new? But yeah, this is the instruction manual on how to uh, how to set it up. Anyway, okay. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and read it because I think I I know what to do. Pretty much, pretty much did everything using this little pictogram, and <laughs> all it is is plug it in and switch it on. Nothing to it.
And there's a Granny Smith Apple sticker on there. I just noticed that. Okay. So we are going to plug it in and uh, see if it turns on. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Is the bulb burned out or not? Here it goes. Oh, cool. Wow. I didn't think it actually worked, but it does. Look at that. Fun with a 1991 L overhead projector. I keep, <coughs> I keep saying it's um, um, an LCD projector, but it's not. I guess when you're in a world with modern technology, you kind of um, grow accustomed to things. But anyway, this is how you would adjust it by putting that up or down. Now there's the focus. It's a shame that I don't have any um, transparencies. That's what it's called. Uh, transparencies. But, oh boy. <laughs> I could feel the, the heat coming up from that light bulb. Maybe it was um, in functioning order and uh, I guess that had melted over time. I don't know. Let's open it up while it's running. Oh, it has a safety switch. Okay. I was hoping to um, open it up and take take a look at it running, but I can't. It has that safety switch, which is a good thing. I didn't think it would still have those, but it does. Yeah, I'm really happy that it actually works. Unfortunately, you can't really um, adjust the height of the arm. The only thing that you have to adjust it with is, um, is that flap, but oh well. Better hope that it doesn't get broken or anything like that. Hmm. Cool. This thing actually lights up my whole room. <laughs> Who needs that light fixture when you have a projector? Although, this thing puts out enough heat. It's still pretty cool, but anyway. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to do my little project with a laptop. Now, um... I still have to decide which laptop I would like to use for this project. I have tons and tons of laptops and it has to be just right because really, you know, I, I don't really like destroying my laptops for this project but hey, gotta have fun with them. So anyway, thanks for watching.